Hot tub streams are very much so like World of Warcraft classic, guys. You think you do, but you don't. Requires emptying. Mm. Video games on Twitch. I know, I know. <laughs> this is why my ad bonus sucks, man. You're not right. Yeah, you're not wrong. Ulduar today and Wrath of the Lich King. Ulduar actually came out back in 2010, mate. I remember. Or no, 2009, I think. It's been a while, man. Guess what comes after it? Spoiler alert. Ice Crown Citadel. Sorry, dude. Sorry, I hate to ruin it. Sorry, sorry. Trial of Champions? Oh yeah, that's actually, oh yeah, you're right. The Trial of Champions was sick. Was that a full rate? I don't actually remember. I don't remember, man. I should go and play. Oh, the 40 men? I remember the, the trial. I remember the area, at least. This ladder is for uh, repairing, because they kind of reach it from the floor. The guy is called Anubarek, yes. He sounds cool. He says cool words. Actually, I should probably... There you go. That was my real voice too, Mutlasis. Didn't even use a voice change. Or anything. It was just my real voice. Come on, bump the chlorine. Bump it. 15 grams. Mate, this is gonna take forever. Fine, I'm not gonna give you guys cool bedrooms then. Cool bedrooms, not for you guys. Okay, um... Sleeping in a barracks? So is there anything other than beds and cots? A smart battery. This is what we need. I need refined metal. Well, I don't know where to get that. I thought I would have some of that. Copper ore, copper ore, copper ore, iron ore, gold amalgam, uranium, gravitas door. That's one of my favorite metals. Gold amalgam, iron ore. Which one would be, uh, what am I looking for? I'm not sure what I'm looking for. I need refined ore, but I don't know what's considered refined ore. Uranium is the funny metal. Wait, uranium is funny too? I thought Uranus was funny, the planet. Oh, maybe it's a research. That's a very good point. I, oh, the rock crusher. I remember the rock crusher. It takes up all my electricity. Yeah, um, okay. Leaning away from the microphone is probably not smart when you're streaming. Should probably be talking into it instead. A rock crusher, as they say in French. Le rock du crusher. I think that's what they say. I don't see it. It's probably on my screen. I don't see it. Where the fuck is it? Fudge, sorry. Ah, there it is. 
It's a big building, guys. I don't know how many of these things I need. No, I'm pretty sure it's Le Rock Crochet, <laughs> Talio. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's it, man. I had French in school, so I'm basically an expert. <laughs> I just need a little bit. If you could maybe like, um, is copper a refined metal? I don't know, dude. I think so. I have iron ore as well. Go. Someone go do the thing. Go, go, go do the thing. Yeah. They're gonna press the button aggressively. This is one of my favorite animations from what I remember. It's an excellent, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is how they crush the metal. <laughs> it's so silly. I love the animations in this game so much. Like, yes, this is of course the entire structure. Why not automate that final part? Nobody knows. <laughs> the punching is very critical. Pipe is blocked. Pipe is blocked. Oh no, it's fine. I think it only pipes up when there's a reason for it. I don't know what you're talking about, Corbin Dallas. My posture is flawless. I sit up straight all the time. Never hunching over, ever. watched the first episode of The Last of Us show. I heard it's good. A video gaming show that's good? What? Yeah, it's got like a nine point something on IMDb, which is usually a pretty decent indication. Okay, smart battery. How much does this produce? I think I need 20, don't I? They followed the game's story? Ooh. Okay, I'll go watch it after... Uh I don't think we have anything else to watch tonight. Sometimes we have to catch up on television shows. It's very important. Yeah, yeah, there's a The Last of Us... The Last of Us IMDb. So it just started up. I think it's just the first episode. Yeah, this, so it's got a 9.4 so far on IMDb. That is pretty sick, man. That is pretty good. I mean, it's a zombie show, right? And I'm personally a little tired of zombie-related things, so I hope I'll enjoy it. Why... what happened to some of these tiles? Why is there a little notch? I don't know. Okay, anyways. Um, sense a green signal. I need a cable though, don't I? Conductive wire? No, that's not it. Maybe I already have it. Wire bridge. Oh, shit. 
Smelting? Man, there's so much to research. Actually crazy. A gas filter. That's also something I need. That's what I was looking for earlier. It's in the resource, uh, research automation. Automation. I don't see automation. Logic wires. That's, yeah, I think that's what it's called. Automation wires? I think that's it, right? Yeah, 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 that's it, that's it. It's funny how you can research the other smart battery without this. Yeah. I've been posting at the same time for a while, Gabrielis. So I used to post my YouTube videos at 8 p.m. However, the other guys that also make StarCraft related content on YouTube started undercutting me by like 10, 15, 30, one hour minutes, whatever, right? So they started undercutting me a little bit. So I've I've just decided to start posting as early as, you know, is reasonable. Not if no not those other fuckers can under undercut me. No, it's not a huge deal, but uh I was posting at the same time for a long time, but then everybody started posting videos just before my videos went up, which um not ideal. Not ideal for me anyways. I undercut them by like 3 hours. <laughs> okay guys pretty happy with where we are at I think I'm gonna be calling it a day but um yeah things are looking good can't complain right hazmat digging sure go ahead mate there's a lot of new things in this game improved farming I'm very happy with where we're currently actually uh, where we're currently at actually in this game. Not bad at all. Didn't even need to restart yet today, which is nice. So we've actually built a pretty nice settlement, a pretty well functioning one as well. Without yeah the need to. So wait, do I have to have both a smart battery as well as a jumbo battery? They, they replaced them, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. So I have to run the automation wire from there. Does that work? Or do I have to run it individually into each one? I think this should do. I think that should work. Oh, I can get a pipsqueak! Sorry guys, maybe you're all amazing, but I want one of those. Because it's kind of like a cat. There it is, dude. Aww. It floats. I don't know why it's floating. Anyways. Milo does not float. No, 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 he does not float, Jasmine. Common misconception. I don't know why the battery is all the way over there, but it's okay. Um, logic activation parameters. Sends a green signal when the battery is less than 0% charged until it is 100% charged. I guess we can set this to like 20. For battery degradation purposes, we should not... <laughs> okay, maybe that's not something I have to worry about. I'll just leave it at 
Yeah, yeah, so I should already have a regular cable connecting to the network now, right? I can set it a little higher. Let's set it to minimum 50, I think that's fine. I should already have a regular wire still connected. Oh, wait. Okay, so it needs both a regular wire as well as an automation wire? Did I ever meet Day9 in person? I have met Day9 in person, yeah. <clears throat> One of the few times I did not act cool. No, no, I did fanboy a little bit. Most of the time, whenever I meet people on, you know, that I know over the internet, I can act kind of cool. But, I have been a Day9 fanboy for a long time. And one of the reasons I started making videos was specifically because of Day9. So I did, I did fanboy a little bit, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, we're now in the 4 gram territory over here. Whoa, Nolan, calm down, man. That's an aggressive typo. <laughs> Just a wire, jeez, man. <laughs> Have I met Pult? No, I don't think I've met Pult. Yeah, I can imagine that at some point the pressure in this room is going to get pretty out of control. Mm -mm -mm. But for now... Not a problem. We have still a little bit of water over here. We have a lot of water over there. The storage bin over here has got some bleach stone in it. I think we're in a very, very nice position right now. Soon I will be able to expand up north, make some cool bedrooms. Um, the comfy beds, I'm assuming those are going to require some new things. Bleachstone is your favorite seasoning. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't recommend that. I need an artist, someone to sculpt the blocks into something. That would be nice. Uh, where's the bed? Furniture, I guess? A ladder bed. How does that even work? It's literally just a, a bed right next to a ladder. That's so bad. Or so bed. Okay, hold up. I gotta I gotta see what it looks like, and then I'm heading off. Is that it? I guess she can stack them, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But I'm assuming it's not particularly comfortable. And comfort. High quality furniture is all we need over here in Locopia. So to just run over it? Dude, that seems like a dangerous place to sleep, man. Wait, it's missing a tile. Build a tile beneath this building to regain function? What am I doing wrong? I thought it would stack like that. Oh, it's for bunk beds in rooms. Oh, it's literally bunk beds. A ladder bed. Oh, I thought it could... Oh, okay. I misunderstood. I thought it would be a ladder and a bed at the same time and I'd just be sleeping on the side of it. Yeah, I don't ever need this. I am not planning on ever using that. I mean, I took the word literally, which, you know. I thought I could just have a whole row of beds right over here. Produces microchips to increase the power output of generators. A textile loom. Tailors duplicate uh, clothing items. 
feel like a lot of this stuff is new, but maybe I just never used it. I don't know. Anyways, gonna save it here. Noise. Alright, so yesterday I got started with a new run of Oxygen Not Included. This time around with the DLC on a smaller asteroid, so hopefully the late game won't be all too laggy. In a way, we got a pretty nice thing going right now. I'm actually very happy with how everything's been going. Over here, we have what is going to be our upcoming bedrooms. So currently, this is where my duplicants are sleeping. Everybody's got a cot, but I want to give them private bedrooms here before too long with proper plumbing and everything. So I currently have one trial bedroom right over here. I guess I can already put cots down over there too, actually. But that's the idea. We'll put some cots down over there. And these are going to be private, private bedrooms. Um, I want to have two people per lavatory and sink. So you do have to share it with your roommate. But I mean, it is what it is, right? I ran into a problem because I wanted to build additional bedrooms up here. Since I currently have Afternoon. eight or seven jubes. I need four layers. Thank you very much, Count Ordinal. I seem to be in one piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Since I want to have four layers of bedrooms, I need this one right over here, but there was chlorine in this location. So what I've been up to here is I have been pumping out the chlorine. There's still a couple grams remaining up here, and it's going to take a little while before all of this is gone. But um, we're currently pumping all of that chlorine with a gas pump in this gas reservoir. Not yet sure what I'm going to be using it for, but at least that's the plan. So we're going to like make additional bedrooms over here. So we're going to redo all of this before too long. Uh, I added a water lock in this location over here. This thing has a bunch of bleachstone in here, which is what Nolan recommended, which is kind of clever. So bleachstone underwater does not actually emit anything, which is sweet. And this is considered underwater. So this is a double functionality. Um, so I've got my compost here. I've got my polluted water here. Both of these things are emitting polluted oxygen, which is kind of bad. So if you look right here at the germs overlay, it's not great. I know at some point I will be able to clean some of this as well, but it's not ideal, but at least the water is not contaminated, which is the main goal. Um, other than that, we have some storage here in the middle. Apparently someone can get a new hat. Fair enough. Kappa. Kappa over here can apparently get improved tidying or improved carrying. There you go. Um, yeah, I've got some storage bins over here set up. This is my farming area. We're still eating mule wood at this point, but that's okay. And then I've got some machinery all the way down here. We've built some insulated tiles. I found another little bit of water over here. So we're pumping that right now as a temporary measure to try and get rid of all of the, uh, the water there. And then it gets dumped back down over here into the polluted water. So if we look at the... Uh, the power overlay, for example, so power overlay is pretty self-explanatory. This is where the power is generated, and it runs all the way to the top. Um, plumbing is something that we need to set up, but right now, this is where I'm getting my clean water from. Clean water is being pumped over here into the lavatory and to the sink, and then it's being, well, dirtied. The dirty water, it is uh, pumped out over here. I need to figure out a way to clean water. But I don't know how. I remember having a solution for that years ago, but I don't remember how. My jupes have to make do with shared toilets. Yeah, yeah, so these guys are also gonna have to do shared toilets, but that's okay. So I think with four layers, I can handle eight people, which should be pretty good. Put bleach in it? Oh yeah, bleach will definitely clean the water. Smart, guys. Brilliant idea. Ooh, the temperature is too hot over here. Why is the body temperature of these so hot? 38 degrees? Uh, Not exactly sure why it's so hot in this exact location. Do these things emit heat themselves? Anyone any ideas as to why some of the mule wood is way hotter than some of the others? That is interesting. Is it fertilized with, like, very hot dirt? The water is coming from here that they're using to water it. I think they use some of the fertilizer, though, from this location here. 
I guess the temperature will come down automatically. Maybe not ideal, but... It's alright. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm not... I'm not unhappy. Oh, it doesn't consume any water, just dirt? Oh, okay. I'm not unhappy with how this is going, but I gotta... Yeah, I gotta be a little careful, apparently. I've got a ton of calories right now stored. At least, you know... A good amount at this point, so... Will probably be fine for now. Um, so this will just take a little while. It's gonna take several minutes at least until this is all here. I could pump in oxygen as well. I guess if I pump in oxygen, then the chlorine will be forced to the bottom, right? So I could set up a similar pump, but then in reverse. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe that is what I should do, actually. That's actually kind of smart. If I put up a... Um if I pump clean stuff into this room... Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a gas pump, I don't know, over here. And then a gas vent over here. And then we'll have to delete all of that eventually anyways, but we'll have to hook this one up to power. So we're gonna... Take a little bit of the oxygen from that location. And then we're going to pump it over to the other side. Uh, uh, uh. My god. Can I cancel these with like a... I think I should just hold down shift or something. Uh, I think I can reach that. Uh, you can backseat game me, uh, Crown Lord, that's okay. If you have a suggestion, feel free. Attractiveness is in the eye of the beholder. Thank you, thank you very much, Fear Dragon. I appreciate that, man. Loco, you're not bad, you're just living up to your potential. One of the nicest things. Someone's ever said to me. <clears throat> I think electricity will be a problem once you run out of coal. I have 25 and a half tons of coal still though, and there's gonna be loads that I can still mine out, so I don't think that's a huge problem. I think it'll be okay. I posted an oxygen or an oxy generator in the Patreon chat yesterday. Uh, let's see. Um, where is it, Cranlor? Cranlor. Oh, here we go. We are Robert. What is going on in this picture? <laughs> uh, mate, I have no idea what's happening. Do you understand what in the world's happening here? It looks beautiful, don't get me wrong. This looks very complex. It's a very efficient way. It's a self-powered oxygen generator. It's called a full Rodriguez. You aren't ready for it. I need something simpler than this, man. This is the Mark III of a blueprint, apparently. That's pretty sick, though. The fact that someone has made that. I guess that's the most efficient self-generating and self-powering oxygen thing. I, I don't think I'm quite ready for that. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm quite ready for that, but thank you. I'm gonna need something a little simpler. I am definitely not against using uh, some, some other people's blueprints, though, because this game gets very complex otherwise. I remember we had some cool stuff with electrolyzers, and, like, 
some cool generators that way. I gave this game a shot, but sadly it was too overcomplicated for me. Yeah, fair enough. It is uh, a bit tricky, that's for sure. I'm not even really sure what I should be focusing on at this point. Use a hydrogen generator? Yeah, that's what I used last time, right? Hydrogen generator blueprint. Oh, I googled that exact thing, but it gives me a whole bunch of things for real life. Which is not exactly what I need. A guide to a self-powering oxygen machine. The key element is an electrolyzer, which consumes water and produces oxygen and hydrogen. I hear a little... Oh, look, a little pipsqueak. I think I followed along with a YouTube video at the time. Because some of this stuff is way too hard to make, man. You know what I need? I think what I need to prioritize at this point is something to clean water. So currently I have a, a pool of polluted water and a pool of clean water. But obviously once I start using up the sink and I make four bedrooms and all that, I'm gonna have to convert the polluted water into clean water. I don't really know how to do that. Um, but that's what I should be doing, I think, next. I like that, actually. I like that you can, you know, discuss on the internet and, and, you know, share blueprints and stuff for a game like this. But I understand why for some people that's like, okay, if that's what you need to do, that means it's too much. Water filtration? But you need chlorine? I have chlorine in a gas reservoir right over here. Okay, so what research do I need for that? Um... Water, I don't know. Advanced research, space program, artificial friends, renewable energy, fossil fuels. Uh, I need a water, like a filtration type of thing. Filtration. Filtration. Liquid filter? A gas filter? A liquid filter sieves one liquid out of a mix, sending it into a dedicated filtered output pipe. Can only filter one liquid at a time. Uh, this is gonna get tricky. This might be the first thing I really need to look up. Cause so far I'm doing quite well with how everything is going, but like some of these more complex things, I don't think I can figure out very easily by myself. Produces clean water from polluted water using sand. Produces polluted dirt. That's what we need, right? A water sieve. Yeah, yeah, I remember having these, but they generate heat as well. Does Loco have a Google Sheet with games plate? Um, the majority of them are up on my More Loco YouTube channel, so if you go to the playlist on More Loco, you can... But it doesn't have the full list, no. I don't, I, I don't have a full Excel spreadsheet, mostly because I know I'm not going to keep it up to date. Okay, look, so we're pumping oxygen in here, which should be pumping the chlorine down. This might mean, though, that there's going to be a bunch of chlorine in this. Yeah, now there's also going to be some oxygen inside of this gas reservoir. Which, actually, maybe I shouldn't have done it this way. It's only very small amounts, though. Is that a problem? Should I have done it this way? Maybe I shouldn't have done it this way. I guess I can put a filter in here. Yeah, I think it's okay. Can't you filter water IRL by boiling it and capturing the water vapor? Isn't that what you do all the time, Fear Dragon? Every morning, you boil your water just to clean it. Okay, I'm gonna look up a YouTube video, because I, I, I know that there's a sick community out there that makes really awesome stuff. Water cleaner, oxygen not included, a water filter. We, we came across some really cool stuff in the past. Maybe some people have uh, made some updated versions of it, though. Water management? Let's watch an hour and 12 minutes of... <laughs> How to purify water. This sounds good, guys. This, this sounds like a promising name.
How to pure- Oh, this is like a 2012 YouTube video where like someone's typing out the text. Okay, he's making a water lock. I recognize that. Draw this arrow with a concrete. It will be the airlock. Right. I'm just gonna let my game run in the background, by the way. I think it'll be fine. This guy has 69 subs. That's pretty nice, man. Okay, so he's building a little room that seems to be dedicated to water cleaning. I like that idea. I'll destroy the vacuum to show. Okay. Now fill the room with concrete. Okay, so he fills the room with concrete. And then he makes the water lock. And I guess at that point there's going to be a vacuum on the other side, right? Okay, next step, destroy the concrete. Be careful not to destroy any of the airlock. Right, right, I, I get that. Collect all bleach stone, polluted water, slime, and polluted door, dirt, and store these outside our new room. Outside? We're gonna be emitting a lot. Now fill the room with chlorine. Wait, concrete or chlorine? Yeah, no, concrete. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. This room is in a vacuum and ready to receive equipment. Okay, so that's that's what we're trying to get done, right? That's the goal here. So, liquid reservoirs? Two liquid reservoirs for intake and two liquid reservoirs for output? This seems overly complex, not gonna lie. This sounds like something you have to be smart for, guys. Which I evidently am not. That's why I'm watching other people be smart instead. Look what this is overly complex, don't do this. Well, I don't know what else to do otherwise, though. This is the first video I'm finding, but... Yeah, this is a game definitely, uh... Okay, so he's got pure water and polluted water. Water sieves? Oh my god. Dude, this guy just keeps going. Um, I just need something to clean water. If you if you say, don't do this one, give me a suggestion for something you do think I should go with. Because I am open to recommendations, but I don't really know what my best option is, if that makes any sense. Hey, by the way, is this thing done? Are we, are we finished with the chlorine situation? You've suggested infinite bathrooms? That's a build? Infinite bathrooms, oxygen not included. Okay, by GC Fungus. We can, okay, I'll have a look at that in a moment. Um, there's still a little bit of chlorine in here, but only very small amounts. I'm gonna disable that structure, I guess. I should probably have had a filter on this thing, to be honest, because now there's gonna be a little bit of oxygen in this thing as well, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, there's also some carbon dioxide though. It's okay. Hey, what's going on, Rushy? <laughs> we busted Rushy playing Call of Duty, chat. Oof. Oof. Suddenly, man, I glance at my Battle.net friends list. And I see Rushy playing Call of Duty. Look. I, I had to call you out. Is it really possible to just let someone play that without calling them out? It's a fun game. Don't get me wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We should unmod him. I thought that works cool. Yeah, you are pretty cool, Rushy. Have you tried out this new game called Minecraft? I actually have not played uh, the new Warzone in a long time. 
I would probably enjoy it because I really enjoyed playing Warzone or not Warzone. What's it called? Uh, PUBG. We're gonna destroy all of this shit. Gonna deconstruct that, deconstruct that. Then I also need to get rid of some of the power lines over here. I like to tidy this up because I know it's going to be a, a spaghetti monster at some point if I don't. So we'll just kind of tidy it up. You're trying to make plans for your Europe visit in July? Let's go, dude. Okay, infinite bathrooms. Um... Infinite bathrooms. This is a five minute One, video a with this tutorial. about a dozen chapters. You love to see it. This is a proper Oxygen Not Included player, okay? A four minute 53 video with, you know, like eight chapters. Right, for Oxygen Not Included, which is all about bathrooms. Although this might not be a very glamorous topic, it's certainly important if you don't want pee on the floor or in the water supply. I love this guy already. Again. I'm going to take you through the basic bathroom and plumbed bathrooms, including the most important concept, the infinite bathroom. Starting off, the basic bathroom is a latrine, and this gives a plus one morale bonus. I'm right. showing here a very standard latrine, with four outhouses and four wash basins. Note that this is the maximum size you can have when using a standard room height of four, which is as high as the tubes can reach. Okay. Starting off, the basic bathroom is a latrine. Okay. It's four important to get right, the sinks right. correct, because tubes will generate food... That's really all there is to basic latrines, but of course you want to upgrade these to washrooms once you've done the necessary research. Right, so that's what I'm trying to do. These use plumbed lavatories and sinks in the same Infinite way. Infinite bathrooms is what we're looking for. Two minutes and 29. But we can improve on this, and that moves us on to the infinite bathroom. This simply comes from the idea that the water sieve can turn the polluted water output back into water, which can be fed back to the inputs. It's of course important to note that the output still has food poisoning germs on, and passing it through the sieve does not destroy these, so you'll have germy water. The lavatories and sinks can, perhaps surprisingly, accept germy inputs with no issue. So by simply creating a closed loop, then it will never run out and you can disconnect the input. Whoa! If you do try to simply do this though, the system will get- Yeah, so basically you're washing your hands with clean pee. That's kind of nice. Get backed up, and that is because the lavatories produce quite a bit more polluted water than they take in water. You can consider this as adding the dupe's waste to the output. So, there's an important part of the piping uses the bridge priority to make this all work. I explain this more in depth in my tutorial bike for piping, but if a pipe splits in two through a bridge input, then the priority will be with the bridge if there's room in the pipes. This means we can prioritise the water sieve and make the other pipe an overflow which we can deal with. Note that you can use the bridge prioritization before the sieve. Wouldn't it be easier though to just have one proper clean water solution so we don't have to deal with germy water at all? We just have polluted water and clean water. Because now we would have polluted water, clean water, and germy water. We'd have a, a third version. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to go with the Paku. I can kill these, no? I think I can kill them. Yeah, the sound effects in this game are great. I don't really want another person at this point. They're all animal lovers. I don't know exactly what these do. I think they just flop around. Can I kill them? Because I don't, I don't have a way to keep them alive for now. Uh, actually, let's, let's just do an attack command. I don't really know how this works. Okay, there we go. Kill them all. Sorry, guys. Sorry, little fish. I'm not the baddie, I promise. I just need food. I do want to create a rancher here before too long, but... Sushi for dinner tonight.
Okay, um, so this is an option. This is an option. This is what Krenlor sent over. <sighs> okay, so that's a chlorine room, right? Yeah, I built something like this. I built something like this at some point. So this is a chlorine room that cleans the water properly. <sighs> um, it is tricky though, guys. I remember getting stuck at this point in the past. I'm not sure what I should do here. Hi everyone, and welcome to this tutorial. Chlorine room, oxygen not included. I need to figure out a way. It doesn't have to be that complicated. Right, but I don't know what the easy version looks like. Kill germs with a chlorine room. So what I was thinking of doing is pump clean water in. Clean water in. Right? We pump clean water in. We have dirty water go out. Then we have a separate facility that pumps polluted water out. And brings clean water back in. That's what I was thinking of doing. Which I feel like would be an easier solution, even though it might be more complex to set up. But maybe I'm thinking of it wrong. Okay, let me just have a quick look over here. There is still a little bit of chlorine, but that's fine. But you have to use chlorine, basically, right? I guess there might be alternatives, right? But This, yeah, I feel like this is going to be a very crooked situation before too long, man. Anyways, um, we can make the bedrooms over here. I, I am definitely going to have to make a chlorine room. I'm just going to have to figure out how I want to do that. Because I don't really know how. Actually, we can destroy all of this. Um, I also want to get rid of that water lock. And then we can dig all of this out. Okay. I should have saved those tutorials I used back in the day, man. That would have been helpful. Flush water goes into a water sieve, from that the water tank into a chlorine room, from that back into the bathroom loop. Okay, I can give that a try. So dirty water goes into a sieve that's inside of a chlorine room. And then it brings... No, but it's still... It doesn't kill... The, oh, the germs in the water... Or, sorry, the fact that it's in a chlorine room will kill the germs? What happens if you pump chlorine to a water room? I could make a little separate area over here. Specifically for that. Um, I just don't know how big it needs to be. Oh, you mean a water tank. This is gonna be a meme, dude. This is gonna- this is gonna be a meme. I'm gonna try and make a chlorine room. Okay, this is the plan. Okay, so first order of business is having a room dedicated to chlorine. I guess I should put that in insulated tiles. Although I don't really know if it makes much of a difference. Water sieve can go over here somewhere. I don't know how many water sieves I should have. Um, did I already research the water sieve? Because I was researching it. Okay, it should be done pretty soon. I also need a water tank. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I guess I can filter the gas reservoir's output as well, right? So I can just pump in chlorine. Yeah, that should be a good idea. Um, I could make that over here, I guess. There is some slime lung in this area. Yeah. Okay, so I don't really know how big it needs to be, but... We can make some space over here. Okay, we'll make some space over here. And this is going to be dedicated 
just for um, a chlorine room somewhere over here, and then water sieves up ahead, I guess, or, or you know, above this. I remember having not too big of a chlorine room in the past, so it kind of worked. Okay. Okay, you guys can get started with all of this. It should be fine. Oh yeah, I need to make sure obviously that air does not go in here. You're very right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I should probably have not been building all of this this close. Maybe I can get a different place here for the compost. Okay, so we need to make another one of those locks over here. I will probably move the uh, the compost area here at some point, but... Um, okay, so let's let's try it out. So we need to move... I can build all the way over here. I just don't want to interact with these tiles. Let's go. Okay. Mate, this is tricky already. I don't like this position at all. No, I'm gonna cancel this part. I'm gonna cancel this part entirely. I don't know where to build it. I don't know how big it needs to be. If, if I build it over here, I'm not gonna have a lot of expendability. I could build it south? Or maybe from here? Maybe that's a better idea. Going through the bottom. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. We should still have quite a bit of space over here anyways. 